Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back for another video. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Nancy and I'm with Nancy's Original Art. Today, I thought we would do another 12 by 16 canvas. Now, I've already actually flooded the canvas with my base color. And then, for this particular painting, I'm actually only going to be using the base color and then just two other colors in this painting. Now, whenever doing fluid art, your paints are going to consist of acrylic paint colors, Floetrol, and water. You're going to actually mix those three things together to come up with your paints. So in this case, for my base, I actually used the acrylic titanium white by Artist Loft. This base is mixed with, again, the Artist Loft brand acrylic titanium white, Floetrol, and water. My next two colors are going to be black by Artist Loft which is also mixed with Floetrol and water and Sterling Silver by Deco Art also mixed with the Floetrol and water. This is how you get your paints to flow across the canvas. So whenever doing a fluid art piece or what some call a Dutch pour you need to have your paint wet, okay? So, we're going to get started. For my tools, to flood the canvas, I needed to have my trusty spatula so that once I poured the paint on, I could use it to spread the paint out, okay? The next thing I needed to use was my little mini blowtorch. This I used to actually take care of all the bubbles. The next thing that we're going to need is again our paint colors because we're actually going to be putting those down. Once we get those down we're going to be using the mini torch again to blow the bubbles out on that paint. Then comes the fun part, the blow dryer. This is actually what we use to cause the paint to move across the canvas. This is the flower blow dryer created by Drew Barrymore. And the reason that I like this particular blow dryer, I have small hands. And because I have small hands, this blow dryer is the perfect size for me. I'm able to really make it move. Okay? So right now, we're going to go ahead and get started by putting down our paint colors. Give me just one second. It looks like there may be a few more little bubbles that I did not get. Oh, and guess what else? I have cats. And so once in a while, I will end up with a cat hair in the painting that I have to remove. Once the painting has been completed, as far as like the, the composition of the painting, I will then be using this trusty little tool this is actually just a very thin but long knitting needle and I use that at the end when I scrape my edges at the bottom but as you just saw it's also good if I have like maybe some of my paint has gotten some clumps in it I can get those clumps out easily or like in this case when I took the cat hair out 
it actually works to do that also. So, the first color that I'm going to be putting down is the Artist Loft brand black. And you always want to give it a little shake because it can settle. Okay? And you always want to be careful. I don't like to open my bottles. They're just little twist caps. But I don't like to open it over the canvas because they tend to get air pockets up in the caps and it can cause the paint to explode. Thankfully, this one was good. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit. We're just gonna run a bead of paint just across the canvas like that. Once I'm done, I'm gonna close my cap and then we're just gonna use some paper towel, which is another handy thing to have when you're doing your paintings. And we're just gonna wipe the tip off so that you don't get any paint build up on it. The next color is the Sterling Silver by Deco Art. And again, I don't open it over the painting in case it explodes with the air pocket. We're going to go ahead and put a bead of that across. Okay. Now I'm just going to go, and I'm actually going to go back through with the black and just put another small bead of black, not a big bead, or we're going to try not to do a big bead, just a little bead of black, okay, and now we're going to take my lovely blow dryer Actually, first, we need to do this. Take the mini blowtorch and pop any bubbles within this paint. Once we get the bubbles popped, now we're going to take the blow dryer. And something else, um, one, this particular blow dryer works great on low. So I always use the low setting. The other thing is, I don't know if you can see it all that well, but I have accidentally gotten the cord in the paint, not meaning to. So you always want to be careful when you go to blow out, make sure that you keep the cord away from the canvas so it doesn't accidentally scrape it and ruin it. So let's get started. Okay, I don't know if you saw what I just did, but I accidentally, that's the other thing that you want to be careful of, I did accidentally get this part, the attachment on my blow dryer, down in the paint. So I'm going to try to fix that here real quick, and then we'll finish blowing it out. Except for, like I said, except for that little bit that got kind of messed up right in here. It actually came out pretty good. I do like the black and silver together. And I'm glad that I actually chose to only do the two colors 
on top of the white base. It actually came out looking pretty cool. Now, as I stated before, now that I've blown it out and I've gotten my composition, I am now going to use this trusty little tool. And we are going to do, like I said, you want to make sure though that you do have paper towel ready. Because what you're going to do is, you're going to start over here, and you're just going to run the tool across the bottom. And then, I'm going to go on this side. When I get to the other side, I'll be able to show you a little better. Because you're going to see what I'm talking about. Just move a couple things out of my way. Oh my goodness. And you know, I'm really good at making messes. Okay, so now I'm going to scrape this edge. And I do see a boo-boo on that edge. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm taking this tool and I'm just running it right across the bottom taking it all the way across the bottom just like this and getting all those drips that you see forming you can already see them forming again and don't worry because what I'm gonna do is I've scraped it now but in about 10 minutes I'm gonna come back in and scrape it again that's usually how I do it I will do it once and then I will give it about 10 minutes and then I come back in and I will scrape a second time depending on I'm gonna say depending on where you're located depends on how quickly your painting starts to dry okay and I say that because I'm down in the Daytona Beach, Florida area. And I've noticed that I can usually get away with just scraping my painting twice. And then I don't have to scrape it again. And you're probably sitting there thinking, what is she talking about? Why does she have to scrape it? Well, I'm going to tell you. The reason that you want to scrape your painting once you've blown it out is because the composition right now is just the way I like it. It's turned out really pretty. All of the colors, except for the sides right here, all of the colors have pretty much stayed within the center. If I didn't scrape the bottoms of the canvas, the base would continue to get pulled over the edges. And that always happens when you've got those drips below. Those drips are actually causing that paint to pull over the edges. So once you scrape it, you're slowing that pulling process down. And after about 10 minutes, like I said, I can actually come back in and I'll scrape it a second time. And usually after I scrape it the second time, mine has already started to dry enough that I don't need to do it a third time. But if you do need to do it a third time, just give it about another 10 minutes come back in and you can always scrape it a third time if you feel you need to but what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to pause the video and bring you in for a close-up give me just a moment okay so now again this is the titanium white base with black 
and sterling silver. And you can see all the crazy cells that were created. I just love it. Now, as I've stated in previous videos, not everybody likes the cells. If you don't, then I would suggest not using any metallic colors. Whenever you use a metallic color, like the sterling silver or the 24 karat gold or any colors that say metallic on them that have a slight shimmer to them those are what create the cells and like I said I'm one of those that actually loves the cells in the painting for me, it really makes the painting stand out. I just, I don't know, there's just something about the cells that are created that just really make the, not really make the painting stand out, but makes it extra special, I think. Now, give me just a second. Okay, I went ahead and turned the flash on this way. Look at that shimmer. That is all of that sterling silver creating that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shimmer. Check that out. Is that not the coolest? Okay, give me just a moment and I will be right back. So again, if this is your first time watching my video, please, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications so that you know when the next video will be posted. And I really hope that you enjoyed this particular video and until next time have a wonderful evening bye